I'm super excited because I got some new gear I get to test out. If you're a photographer, then you know exactly what I mean when I say that I'm excited. As creators, we love having new gear to tell our story or just to play around with. Today, I'm gonna be going out to test the new Polaroid Now iType film camera. I've actually had this for a little while, but I just kind of had it sitting there. Um, and I have a habit of doing that. I don't know, I don't necessarily know if it's a bad thing or not, but I'll buy stuff sometimes and just put it away and it might be two or three months later before I ever open it or test it out. Let's take this thing out of the box. So this is what it looks like outside of the box. If you see this little strip on the top, it comes in each one of those colors. Also comes in gray and black. At the time that I got this one, the black wasn't available or I would have got that just because it, it looks really sleek. I grew up with these kind of cameras. My mom had tons of film cameras and Polaroids as I was growing up. Film is making a comeback. I don't know if I will jump into the wave of shooting film. It can get really expensive. Even getting the uh, packs of film that this camera uses. I'm looking at like 16 bucks. That can add up pretty quickly because you only get eight shots per pack of film. So keep that in mind if you think about picking one of these up. So let's talk about this camera for a little bit. It has a 35 to 40 millimeter lens on here. We got the power button. Let's go ahead and power it on. We got your indicator right here to tell you how many shots you have left. Mine says zero because I don't have any film in right now. And you can turn your flash on and off like so. Of course, this is your eyepiece to frame your shot. It has a timer button. The timer is for selfies, uh, which is a neat idea, but I don't know exactly what they were thinking because there's no thread here to put this on a tripod, so I guess you would just have to sit it on top of something and, and then hit the button and run into the shot. I don't know. That's a small complaint. It has a USB charging port right here. They say that you can shoot 15 packs of film off one charge, so that's pretty neat. If you're thinking about picking one up, these things retail for about $99. The Polaroid now uses iType film and also Polaroid 600 film. This also has a feature where you can do double exposure photos. A double exposure, if you're not sure what that is, is when you have two images combined into one. Maybe we'll test that out today, I don't know. That's just a brief overview of the Polaroid now. Um, excited to go shoot with it. Speaking of that, let me get ready to get out of here. I need to pack up this camera. Uh, pack up this camera, load the film, and uh, get downtown. I want to scout the area before the model gets there. So I'm going to try to arrive about 30 minutes early. So I made a quick pit stop to check out my friend's new office. She makes jewelry and repairs jewelry. And we're supposed to be doing a project soon. So I'm just going to make a quick stop to see what her office looks like. I got a few minutes to kill before I get downtown. So I'm going to check this out real quick. So I'm inside. I just realized I don't know where her office is. Hey. hey! What's going on? This is Molly. Hi! Just checking out her office real quick. Nice! Check out her space. It's beautiful. <laughs> all right so i'm back and molly's spot is awesome and guess what i might be doing my podcast out of her conference room she only uses it when she has a consultation with the client and she said hey if you need it you can use it let me get downtown so i can find a location for me and kayla to uh, take these polaroids All right, so just got downtown and linked up with the lovely model, Kayla. About to put the Polaroid to test. First time actually doing a photo shoot with it. Do you want to say anything? Shout out to Play of Shit Clothing. Go copy your shirt. All right, so the thing with uh, Polaroids is you got to make the shot count. It's not like digital where you can just keep shooting over and over and over and you don't see what you got until after it develops. I'll be dropping these photos into the video 
But we about to get started right now. Let me get a full body on this. Gotta cover these up. It don't matter. It's super bright out here. Let's get a um, get a close up. You said we got seven. Seven. Six left. Six left. That's good. All right. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we only have um, we have five more shots left. So we just moved to a different location. Gonna shoot a couple of shots here. Then we're gonna move somewhere else. All right. All right. Let's move. Who going? Who going? Jaywalk? Huh? Yeah. 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 His grandparents had a fruit stand out for this car. So. Oh. <laughs> I gotta figure out the last shot. All right, try to come through this way. <laughs> People act like their windows are <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you, God. He's brought back the sun, like right as I was aiming. All right. All right. And I'm thinking up top, maybe. Um, trying to see. Yeah, I can't fit you all in here. All right, last shot. We got to make it count. All right. Let me see the ones that are developed already. Reaction time. You're going to be seeing a lot more Kayla in the videos because, like, that's going to be the person I'm going to use for a lot of these uh, test shots and. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, so the uh, shoot with Kayla went great. Uh, using the Polaroid was um, super fun. I haven't used the Polaroid since I was a kid. I love how the images turned out. Would I recommend this camera? I would say yes. If you are a person that uses predominantly digital, I would recommend that you try a Polaroid camera or any film camera. You have to think about your shots. You can't just be clicking, clicking, clicking. You actually need to frame and compose your shots before you shoot. You saw the images. If you like it, pick one up. If you don't like it, don't pick one up. If you got any value out of this video, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, share this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.